Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for May 17th to the 23rd. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So, Virgo, let's see where we go. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I do post uh, quite frequently over there, different readings, pick a cards, that kind of stuff. So um, definitely check me out if you are on Instagram. The link for that's down below, okay? So we have <clears throat> the thinking man and we have action. So someone is thinking about taking action. That could be you towards something, whether that's a job, a career, whatever. Or it could be somebody is, it could be even be love. Maybe you're thinking of taking action towards somebody. It also could be somebody thinking about you, thinking about taking action towards you. So let's kind of see where we go here, Virgo. What does Virgo need to know this week, Spirit? What does Virgo need to know? Yeah, we have the chair, or sorry, I thought that was the chair, but it's the King of Cups. <laughs> so there definitely could be somebody coming in, I feel, because I thought that was the chair. We have the Nine of Swords, so King of Cups, Nine of Swords, Knight of Cups in the recent past. Current energy, we have the Ten of Cups, the White Newman, the Nine of Pentacles. Near future, we have the Four of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. I do feel like someone's thinking of coming forward here. Um, there is an element of a little bit of movement. I feel like this person could have been communicating here with you in the recent past. Um, they may like want to start a relationship with you. I feel like you're single, Virgo, here with the Nine of Pentacles. Um... So the recent past, we have the King of Cups, Nine of Swords, Knight of Cups. This is someone who has a lot of love for you, but they're also a little bit like worried or afraid of it. Um, I don't know if they think about it a lot. Like you might just be on their mind a lot as well with the Nine of Swords. This could be you towards somebody else as well, but I kind of feel like it's it's it could be a water sign specifically. Um, in the current energy with the Ten of Cups, the White Newman, and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like somebody wants to start a relationship with you. Um, so they could be like th taking action this week possibly um yeah because like the white newman is like a new beginning ten of cups i feel like it's like a new relationship um and i feel like one of you or both of you are single and it's like you're coming together um near future we have the four of wands we have the six of cups and the four of cups so i do feel like again it's like there is a connection here between the two of you. Four of Wands, Six of Cups, strong connection here. Um, I don't know if like, this could be starting. I'm not sure if it's starting and this person's worried about coming forward. And so we're gonna kind of clarify because I don't know if, I don't know what's going on here with that Four of Cups. It's like, I don't know if they're planning on uh, coming forward in the near future Maybe they're just like worried and, and thinking about it a lot now, you know, and they're wanting, maybe you're starting to get to know this person. But I do, again, like Page of Cups, like there's a lot of love cards here, like with emotion. So I feel like it's, it's genuine. What's this Nine of Swords here in the recent past for Virgo? What's this Nine of Swords here? Queen of Wands, the Emperor, and the Page of Wands. So yeah, this is like being stressed about taking action, uh, moving forward and communicating um, with the devil. They, like something's holding them back. And I feel like it's it's possibly even just like a fear or a worry. Yeah, with the devil again came out. And the king of wands. I feel like this person has a lot of love. It's just like the taking action part. I feel like they find you very attractive. So maybe you like intimidate them a little bit. Um, what is this Knight of Cups? What is it that they, what's this Knight of Cups? Clarify this in the recent past here for Virgo. Six of Swords. Yeah, they're thinking about coming forward. Two of Wands. 
ace of swords some of them are like needing kind of that clarity or it's like they're they're wanting to come forward and communicate and to tell you how they feel i, f I feel as well yeah the chariot there's that chariot the action card that i thought i saw <laughs> in the beginning um i feel like this person does want to come towards you but i feel like again they're worried about it um i feel like they feel like it's going to be a good thing if they come towards you they can see a future with you with the two of wands um and again, there's a lot of like emotion and like water energy here. Six of Pentacles, it's like they want to balance give and take with you, right? They want to kind of give to this connection. So what's the White Newman here in the current energy? We have the Seven of Swords. So someone could be holding back from this connection. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's holding back from this connection. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles here. Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be really focused on your money or your career or just like focused on yourself. Anything else with this Nine of Pentacles? The Star <clears throat> and the Fool. Like some of you could be work, working on something. What's this Ten of Cups? Like working on something external to this relationship. It's like you're, um, we have the High Priestess. It's like you could be focused on like financial goals or some sort of like achievement. Uh, we have the Lovers and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like some of you maybe aren't talking to this person yet. Or there's uh, not the best communication. Like there's like, there's a barrier between the two of you. I don't know if it's other people. What's this seven of wands? What's this seven of wands? The knight of swords in reverse. Yeah, like you're not talking to this person. Eight of cups. So I don't know if you've, you've, um, I don't know if you've blocked out this connection, like you're not giving to this connection because you're focused on something else. Like, I feel like there's, there's the two of you, there's like something in the middle. There's something between you two from preventing you from coming together. What's this high priestess? What's the high priestess? Like, I feel like a lot of you are keeping to yourselves or you're focused on your, your own stuff. You might not even know who this person is. Six of pentacles. Three of Pentacles. A lot of you are focused on your career or your like just your life in general. Like you're focused on external things. So I don't know if you don't know who this person is because they haven't come forward yet. Um, two of Pentacles. Yeah, like a lot of you are trying to create balance in your life between your connections and your financial life. What's this Four of Cups in the near future here for Virgo? We have the Five of Swords. Tell me more about the Four of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Give me one more here. For this Four of Cups. Ten of Wands, King of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. There's definitely change with two tens and a five. There's definitely change coming in. And it could be change with this offer. I feel like for some of you, it might throw you off. Um, you get, definitely could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign, I feel. Um, or you may have that strongly in your chart. But I feel like you might struggle with the change. And I don't know if it's because you're so focused on something else that it's like this person comes in and you're like, oh, I'm like, I got so many other things to do. But I feel like this person wants to work on this connection with you. They want to move this forward. Yeah, the tower. It's like it might come in really quick for you. What's the five of swords here? Seven of cups, three of swords. I don't know if you, do they reject this person? Is Virgo, moving forward with this connection or 
Three of Swords, Five of Cups. I feel like you might not necessarily take this person up on their offer for some reason. This could be vice versa, but that or you're taking something really slow. But I feel like a lot of you could be pretty cold towards this connection. And again, it's like, I don't know if it's because you're working on something else. Um, what's the tower here for? What's this tower here for? For Virgo, what's this tower here for? Clarify the tower, please. Spirit. Death. Yeah, like some of you might walk away from this connection. Um, and I'm not really sure why. I don't know if you're just not feeling it. We have the three of wands. Yeah, like a lot of you are going to move forward in a different direction or like there's quick change. There's definitely change coming with the death, the wheel of fortune, ten of wands, the tower. Like I feel like something could end here or it's like there's a sudden change in your situation. Um, but I feel like somebody's kind of upset about it with the three of swords, five of cups. Like someone's upset or one person's not happy with the way things are moving forward. I don't know if it's you or if it's this other person. I feel like you could possibly be causing this this upset. Like you could be breaking this person's heart kind of thing. I don't know. For some of you, if it's like a person from your past, I feel like that could be why you're letting this person go. Like you're kind of moving on. Clarify the Six of Cups. Knight, Knight of Wands. Two more of the Six of Cups. Give me one more for the Six of Cups. Queen of Swords. Yeah, like one of you is not open. Two of Swords. And I feel like it definitely could be you. Like someone's resisting this connection, a new start. They're resisting the new start. Um, someone in, someone's either not wanting to talk or they're not, they're, there's no communication between the two of you. And I feel like you're kind of focused on your goals and your dreams. And I feel like this other person's thinking about you. What's the advice for Virgo here? What is the advice for Virgo? Two of Cups, the Hierophant. What is the advice for Virgo? Three of Pentacles, Strength. Clarify this, Two of Cups. Some of you, your advice is to give this another shot. I don't know why it would be. Like, it may be a lot for you to open up your heart. May, like, I feel like there's a need for to, like, I don't know. It's like the advice is to, to work on this, to work on a new start. The Ace of Cups is clarifying the Two of Cups. What's the Hierophant here and the advice? Clarify this Hierophant and the advice. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, like, learning more about this. Some of you, it's like this, this experience is teaching you what you really want or teaching you how to open up. Some of you need to learn how to open up your heart. It's like, I don't know, there's something about like a fresh start here, but also moving towards something that like makes you happy. Some of you, there could be somebody that you meet at work. What's this three of pentacles here in the advice? Clarify the three of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like what you invest your time and energy into, that's what's... Some of you, it's like moving towards something new. Your advice could be toward, to move towards a new connection or work on a new connection. So I don't know if that means with this person to give them a chance or if that means you're moving on. Uh, some of you, it definitely could be moving on. You're kind of evaluating whether you want to give to this situation with the Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. It's like you're trying to figure out what you want to invest your time into. What's going to give you the reward that you de that you feel you deserve? Because some of you are just looking for this Hierophant Two of Cups, and I feel like it might be like y your advice is to open up your heart to just you know people in general. So whether if you're looking for a connection, it's like being open to new people, right? We have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups here. So it's like a lot of you are looking for long-term love, something that's going to last, it's going to give you recognition. 
So for some of you, it's like opening your heart back up, especially if you've gone through like a heartbreak here or if you've been closed off to love. Because I feel like a lot of you are kind of buried in your work or buried in your practical life and maybe not so focused on love. Um, but that's only if you want this. Otherwise, I feel like money and stuff looks really good. I feel like you guys pop with the star here, it's like you're definitely probably achieving your goals. You're working on yourself, working on your finances. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles is here. So like, I feel like you guys are, are doing really well financially, but um, yeah, it's just kind of this like love situation that I don't know if it's you not wanting to move forward with it or this person. So take it how it resonates. Um, if it doesn't fully make sense, you can check out your other signs to see if it kind of like clears things up for you. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye Virgo.